I've recently discovered a software that is so well put together that I generally don't understand how it's 100% free and it requires zero registration. When I found this software I got so excited I wanted to share this with everyone else. Let's head over to my screen and I'll show you what all the fuss is about. This website is called shot.so. I'll leave a link in the description below and also a full guide and list of features in the description. So shots.so is a mock-up design tool that allows you to very quickly create professional and quite frankly stunning designs for mock-ups. Let's start off by using the left navigation and here you can choose what sort of mock-up. So do you want a screenshot or do you want a browser? So I'll just click on browser so you can see it's changed there. And then you can change it according to different devices like let's say a MacBook Pro, iPad Pro, even a watch or just a simple desktop. Personally, my favorite is the browser tab. So let's play with it. Next, you can customize the style. So what browser you want it in like Safari, Chrome Dark, Chrome Light or Safari Light. Let's go ahead and do Chrome Light because that's the cleanest. You can dictate how much shadow you want and then you can scale the position of where you want it on the screen. You'll notice that everything is just click and it just works really smoothly. And if you want pixel perfect positioning, just play with the X and Y axis. On the right, you have the perspective options. And as the name suggests, this changes the perspective of the image. So if I click this, this will change it to perspective. If I change it to this, and I think you get the gist. Now let's go ahead and add an image. And to do that, just click on the center and select your image. And just like that, we have our image inside the mock-up. Now, if we head over to the frame option, we can change the size of it all. So let's say we wanted a 19 by 1080 image. We can also change the coloring of the background. We can add whatever gradients we want. We can make it more realistic, desktop backgrounds. We can do vintage gradients. And we've just got a whole bunch of different effects that we can apply to the background. And then when we're done, we can simply click the download button, open it up, and we have the image. I hope you see the benefits of using a tool like this. I personally will probably start using this for my YouTube videos and blog posts feature images. But I'm curious what you would use a software like this for. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.